Hello students. So now we are going to study our next point from this topic and the name of the point is relationship between environment and ecosystem. Now environment is a very broad concept my dear students. Environment is the place where we live, where we dwell and that specific place is actually termed as the environment. Now if we see to the environment or if we go further for studying the environment, there we can find the another concept which is nothing but the ecosystem. Again if we see to the environment there are basically two types of environments or two different types of possibilities. First one is known as the natural environment and another one will be known as the artificial environment. Biotic and abiotic these two factors they are very important for the environment conservation. Again in the natural environment if we see natural environment is the environment where we will get all the biotic as well as abiotic factors like air, water, then land various organisms and rest of the things. In artificial environment which is the man-made environment, humans themselves they had made a specific type of environment. The best example of the artificial environment will be the fish tank. In fish tank we give the artificial look for the fishes where they live. Actually they are totally closed. Some of the centuries, some of the zoological parks they are actually termed as the artificial environment. Now in this point there are two important definitions. The first definition is the science that deals with the study of interaction between biotic and abiotic factors of environment is called as ecosystem. Okay, I repeat once again, the science that deals with the study of interactions between biotic and abiotic factors of environment is called as ecosystem. So it is typically a science which actually deals with the biotic and abiotic factor and second one is the ecosystem basic functional unit used to study the ecology is called as ecosystem. So it is the ecosystem. Again if we see a pond is an ecosystem because what we can find in the pond? We can find various fishes, various plants and again small microbes, planktons, zooplanktons. And our earth is a very big ecosystem where on the earth we can find different types of small ecosystems there. Also we have got different cycles water cycle, soil cycle, gaseous cycle like oxygen cycle, nitrogen cycle and again carbon cycle. So like this way by considering all these cycles and by the union of biotic and abiotic components we will get the ecosystem. So my dear students in this part we had studied about the relationship between environment and ecosystem. In the next module we are going to study the environmental conservation till then thank you very much.